Guides, it's UA reporting for Tech the Lead. Now, earlier this year, we brought you Mobile World Congress in Barcelona. Then we brought you Mobile World Congress in Shanghai. And a great way to wrap up the year with a bang is IFA Berlin. This event is a great way for us to look at the evolution of the technology and gadgets we brought you earlier this year, but also it's a great way to see what are the indicators for what we can expect in 2019. It's a highly anticipated event and I'm super stoked, if I must say so myself. Is that too cheesy? Let's just go in. As IFA 2018 comes to an end, there are three themes that popped out for me. One is gaming dedicated devices. Now, we didn't see this much earlier in the year, but gaming, although real estate-wise, hasn't taken up much of the floor space, but for all the booths that had gaming devices, oh my gosh, I drew a crowd. So it just shows me that in 2019, we're gonna see more gaming dedicated devices. The second theme I've been seeing is Google Assistant is everywhere. I saw early indicators of this in, at CES when Google Assistant was sneaking their way into other devices and technology, but you know what? Here at IFA, they've successfully integrated themselves into pretty much everything I see here. And the third theme is your home is just gonna get smarter and smarter with all the appliances in your kitchen being able to basically read your mind. I mean, at Samsung, we saw these smart fridges that can tell you what you have in your refrigerator and what you're able to make for dinner that night. Eventually, I think our kitchens will become smarter than us, and that's okay by me, because I don't cook. Now, there were also several surprises for me. One is 5G, what happened to 5G? 5G was all the rage earlier this year and uh, we got here and all I saw was a banner for 5G but nobody really talked about it. So does that mean for the European market 5G is being delayed or is it not happening? I don't know, we need to figure that out. The second surprise is where's the auto presence? I was hoping to get into some badass cars and brag about them to my friends like I did in Shanghai with the Viking car but no, not much of an auto presence here either. And the third thing I found surprising was that IFA is actually very Eurocentric. Every product manager we spoke to was very much focused on the European market, which just shows that localization is key when it comes to marketing and customizing your products. So IFA is the perfect place for just that. So what are some of the indicators for 2019? Well, one, I told you gaming is going to get bigger and bigger next year. It's going to have more prominence, but it's also getting more niche. Okay, some of these devices that are dedicated to gaming could be dedicated to a specific segment, such as PUBG players or Fortnite players. Another indicator is the design. The design is huge here. Remember back in the day, design was all about being modern and futuristic. It became a centerpiece in your home. This year, what we've been seeing is the design blends into your home decor. So it's not so flashy or right in front of you getting all the attention. It's just part of your daily life. And along with that, everything's getting more discreet. The software is getting more discreet. It's there to help you, assist you in your daily life. It doesn't disrupt or interrupt. And that goes into the software and the design as well. What we've also seen is the design is getting a little retro. People want to be nostalgic. They want a clock that looks like a clock. They want a watch that ticks like a watch even if it is a smart watch. So we're seeing that in the design. It was overall a very successful and eye-opening experience here at IFA in Berlin. I predict 2019 will be a big year for gamers and hipsters. You can take my word for it. I'm UA reporting for Tech The Lead and I'll see you next time.